Hello everyone. In this video, we will show how to edit or delete patient information. So here on the software viewer page, we have a sample patient. We click once, it highlights blue. On the mouse, you right click, right click, or you can touchpad right click, go to study management, study management, go over to anonymize, okay? F funny word, anonymize. Think of that as your edit. Anything in the white boxes we could change. Let's, let's make a few changes, okay? So let's say uh, Z3, right? We just call this uh, new. And you can change the name, the first name as well. Anything in the white boxes you can change, okay? We'll give it a different birth year, okay? All right, let's just say that. And uh, let's just say we made a mistake and it's really a female, so we can change that. Once you've got your changes, click the Anonymize tab, okay? So give this about a minute. All right, so when it's complete, you're going to hit the Close tab. Then you hit the Update List, because that is the Refresh button. So you click that. So now you have your new patient uh, displayed. So now to remove the uh, first incorrected, um, incorrect study, to, to delete that, in this case, I'll just delete the second one. It's going to highlight it once. It's going to right click, go to study management, okay? You go to delete study, okay? It's going to ask me if I want to delete it. You click OK, and it deletes. If you're deleting a study from the first session, uh, after you log out and log back in, it's going to prompt you for a password. So let's do the steps again. Let's delete this one. Highlight, right click, study management, go to delete study. It's going to ask you if you want to select the data, so you say yes. Now, use a name, scan, all right? Lowercase just like that. Password, very same word, scan. Make sure you don't have your caps on, no caps, leave the group name blank, click OK, and there goes your study. It is deleted. So remember, you've deleted from the viewer software, and so you have to edit from the console software. That's a little bit different. So if you want to edit in addition to the Excelsior console page, what you do is you go to the Excelsior console page, you pick your patient, you look for your edit patient info tab, okay? Then it gives you selection. You can either delete or you can hit correct. When you hit correct, you provide the edits inside the, um, the fields here. And then once you do that, you, uh, you click exit, and then um, it'll save. Also from the patient list page, you can also delete a scene, let's say. So when you highlight a patient, everything in the series list is related to this patient. So this was saved as an additional scene. Let's just say you want to delete that. Highlight it, right click, go to series management, go down to delete, and the same principles apply. One little extra tip to make it easier to search and find your new patient after you uh, edit and anonymize it, what you can do is check the ID number as well. That way, that is your only patient. If you're not changing the ID number, that is, you can highlight this in the search fields, and that way you can narrow down the patient and easily find your patient again. Well, that's it on how to edit. Pretty simple. If you need any additional help, call us at Prexian. Thank you.